hey guys it's phase one once again with another video today i like to discuss with you guys the top five features of star citizen 3.13 that we should be hype about all right before we get started if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe if you haven't already we do all kinds of content we do gameplay we do updates we do um cinematics anything reviews anything in this channel so if you like to see more sources and content such as this make sure to subscribe all right and if there's anything in this video that you like make sure to leave a like as well all right so um like i said we're gonna go over the top five features and the first feature that i like to discuss is the cave entrances so now in the star season 3.12 they're looking to expanding the sizes of the cave entrances right so ones they're going to be ones where you can drive in with the land vehicle and there's going to be ones um that you will be able to um decline in with your sh with your ships i believe it might be just smaller ships but who knows um i'm curious to see if there's going to be um big really big ones where you can fit in maybe um, a medium size maybe a cutlass or hopefully like an msr hopefully or a, or, or a connie um but we will have to see once they um release this um all right so um the card says you're adding two new cave entrances to the pu the driving entrance which will allow players to enter using a ground vehicle while the single entrance will require players to enter and exit using a ship so i find this very interesting because with this feature what i've noticed is in all the previous patches star citizen usually tend to sneak in a surprise feature here and there so what i'm curious about is is it possible that they may push through um a a, a feature that they're not mentioning to us with this cave entrances right maybe within these large cave entrances these caves are probably a lot are going to be a lot larger than the normal ones that we have access to on foot um so i'm guessing is it possible that they have caves now that are ready that may have underground rivers or possibly some type of um life form or some some type of vegetation that only um stay underground and and just things like that i'm thinking that they may they may push something else with this feature right here that's just how i feel you guys let me know what you think in the comments below all right so the next one is vehicle visual degradation let me quickly read over the card so it says introducing visual wear and tear to player ships as they age and degrade when implemented ships will sub will subtly change depending on how long they've existed in the verse so i think this is really uh, exciting um it's very very exciting um where, because what it does is it gives meaning to the ships in game for us right um just think of, of, of a scenario where let's say you are out in, in the verse going somewhere and then somebody let's say you're you're quantum driving somewhere and somebody um snares you and and you you you, you come out of the your, your quantum jump and they try to jump you right these are pirates right and you somehow fight them off and you somehow survive that and the and to see let's say for example some of the damages that you have on the ship um from from that battle just brings memories right and to, to to be able to see your ship degradate over time it really gives you a feel of um it just makes you it just makes you more immersed in in the game right so now what i'm curious about this is um are they how how are you gonna how are you gonna be able to reverse it i hope you'll be able to go to a shop and just reverse a degradation i hope it's not reversed through um the insurance claims that we have because or else we won't have the chance to keep it that long to uh see the ship degradate over time so the next the next thing that i think is hype is the hacking tech right so let's quickly read over the card it says all back and tech tasks related to creating the first pass of the hacking feature that will be used in future locations and mission updates 
when implemented in game the feature will use to access systems will be used to access systems and areas that players previously closed that that have been previously closed to players the hacking process will be represented via a mini game that is displayed on a player's hud visor interesting 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 so when i read about this is i feel that this is going to open up the hacking the hacking gameplay for the msr right this is going to open up i think this is going to be the first thing that they're working on which will eventually lead to data running because i feel like with data running in your ship you're gonna be i the, the way i see it is you're gonna have access to one of the um some type of screen on your ship where you can access um maybe it might be like a little mini computer and you can connect to let's say a comma ray and you can hack the comma ray from your ship and or maybe you can just scan the area to see if there's any frequencies of data being transferred through um radio frequency and you can just tap into that and just download it and um and then you have to just go through this mini game just to, just to crack the the, the encryption and and just download it right so i think this is one of the first steps that they're taking to eventually having the data running gameplay for the msr right what i hope is this new um feature that they're adding with this tech i hope um that they will allow it to be more skill based similar to how mining is skill based in the game and i think that would be fantastic so if you let's say you're a player and you want to hack into a, a really high security pl place you would want to look for somebody in in the game that is really good at hacking and you can possibly hire them right now we can pay players right so you can possibly hire those people to come along with you to help you um break into a certain area just to retrieve something i think it's it's a really nice feature it's a nice touch i'm excited to see more about it. you guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about this new hacking tech all right so the next piece here is the one thing the the two vehicles that one of well two of the three vehicles that people have been really excited for and always been looking forward to is the crusader m2 hercules starlifter and the c2 right so this is a, a very very highly anticipated ship a lot of people are really excited for it and i'm excited to see it it's to see it because it's it is quite a massive ship and i'm gonna be i'm gonna be interested to checking it out um i think with this ship there will come in new tech as like for example the lights in in each room for the msr so i'm guessing this ship will also bring in something new um, which will eventually be ported over to all the other ships so i'm excited to see the ship if you guys are excited let me know in the comments below all right and the fifth thing as to why we should get hyped about this feature right here is not the most flashiest feature but i think it's the most impactful feature right so i'm going to quickly read it it says converting legacy data management to iCache right so let's quickly read the card so retargeting all gameplay systems that use the legacy persistence data management system to the new iCache interface this is in support of the wider persistence streaming and service and server meshing initiatives so for those that don't know iCache is going to be the new system that they're they're converting over to which will allow them to keep track of everything in this in the universe whereby we can have full persistence right so and we're now starting to see um this um happening in game and the reason why i i um i'm actually very excited is is that in in 312 i think i think i'm starting to see a little bit of eye cash in the universe right now um reason being is in 312 in the ptu I crashed about five times in a row right and every time I logged back in I logged back into my ship it was my MSR in my cockpit at the exact same place that I was P 
previously so the server is keeping track of where i was before um when i crashed so i think it's i think little by little they're 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 um putting the, the these fe features in place um in the background and it's very very exciting because we are inching closer and closer to full persistence all right so i think that's those are the five features why we should be hyped about let me know what you guys think about these five features um in the comments below if there's other features that you guys are excited about let me know in the comments below and uh if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and uh, it does really help me out a lot and um if there's anything in this video that you like leave a like as well all right i will see you on the next one